digital romance TV. Hey folks, how's it going? It's Michael Fiore from digitalromance.tv, still wearing the same black t-shirt. It's the craziest thing. Weird, weird. Well, it's okay. We're filming all of these In all at time. once. Yes, that's what we do. Uh, anyway, in today's video, we want to talk about uh, a big cheating topic. Nora, what is the topic today? Should you take back a cheater? Should you take back a cheater? Um, yes, no, maybe. It really depends. So we talk about this a lot in various types of the programs we put out there. Um, about cheating in general. And there are people out there who think, once a cheater, always a cheater. We'll talk about that topic in the very near future in our very next video. To me, you know, if you actually look at the statistics that are out there around cheating, it shows that something like 40% of people who are in a long-term relationship, whether married or not, will admit to having had some level of infidelity sometime during that relationship. And that's a huge amount, actually. That's a, that, again, that's both men and women. I think the stats are like 2 or 3% higher for men than they are for women, but not that much. And women are actually catching up, mm -hmm. by the way. It's the great arms race. Who can cheat the most? Um, just because somebody cheats doesn't necessarily mean they are an ongoing cheater forever sure. and ever and ever. The number one piece of advice I can give is if somebody cheats once, that is not the death knell of your relationship. If they cheat multiple times, that probably is. If they're showing themselves to be somebody who cannot be trusted again and again and again, that probably means you should find somebody else and not be in that relationship right. anymore. Infidelity is not the, the reason for a, a relationship breaking up. It's usually a symptom. Yeah. If somebody just gets drunk at a party that once symptoms. and makes out with somebody, that's totally fine. Otherwise, I'd is move on. Billy Crystal? Billy Crystal? City Suckers. That Did symptom is that? fucking my wife. That oh. Or no, it was uh, when Harry met Sally. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So go watch him Harry when, when Harry Met Sally is the big thing. Um, <laughs> should you personally take back a cheater is a much more personal question. And that has a lot more to do with why do you think the cheating actually happened? Right. Was the cheating something that was an intrinsic uh, fault of your relationship? Was something else going on in your relationship that caused the cheating? Or was the cheating just a crime of opportunity in a way? Right. Was it that somebody was in, a, in the wrong place at the wrong or time? Or is monogamy just not the thing for, not the guys, thing for a, a lot of people? But don't don't let the I really hate it when people like oh we had a thirty year we no we had a twenty five year marriage we have two beautiful kids we own a big house we do this and she slept with this guy and now the whole thing's over, right? Because of the one time. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Now that, granted, it takes work to build trust, but it isn't necessarily the end of everything you have. Right. People are going to get mad about that, and I'm okay with that. Um, if you want to know more about us and Digital Romance, please go to digitalromance.tv, sign up for our newsletter, and please uh, subscribe to the Digital Romance YouTube channel. We'll get all sorts of great videos like this all the freaking time. All the time. All the time. Really, all the time. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.